This is one that I get asked all the time, um, and it has to do with the URLs with inside Shopify. So um, when you come to your site, you get your blank URL, um, but then if you go to, say, a navigation that points to a collection, it comes up with slash collections slash the name of the collection that you're in. But if you go to a product, sometimes it'll come up collections tops products black deep V. However, you can go to just products and get to the same place. The reason it's done that way um, is for a couple of items. One, the tracking back if you're going to be using collections, it does that for the breadcrumbs so that they can see which collection it actually sits in. Um, if you go straight to the product, you'll see the breadcrumbs itself will update and will say it's using products as the collection. So um, Shopify uses uh, different tags to tell the system which template to be using. So inside of Shopify, you have your templates for products, you have your templates for collections, you have a template for blog, you have a template for articles, and you have a template for pages. And you can customize each one of these depending on what you want them to look like. So if I wanted to go to, say, the About page, you can see it changes out and it makes it into pages. If I go to the blog, it'll come up and it'll tell me it's blogs, and then it has a slash news. So what this actually is is the name of the element that's with inside blogs. There is no way to change these. If you want to try and make them fancier, nicer URLs, unfortunately at this point you can't do it because these specific items are used to pull out the templates. So when you're making modifications to your template editor and you're changing the code with inside that, that's how the system knows um, which pages it needs to be on. Similarly, you can change the content on them. You can have multiple liquid templates. So if I was to go into the admin section, you can actually see under pages, I can actually set up multiple page templates. So I can have a page template for every single type of layout that I want to do. The same is for collections and the same is for blogs. So you have a lot of flexibility when it comes to using liquid templating for creating different styles when it comes to your website. But again, going back to that URL that we were talking about in the beginning, that's what those things are on the top. So um, just a little background on some web design. This always means the root. So when you're doing a uh, link or you're doing something with inside the site, and you, this mostly comes up when you're trying to change the 301 redirects, if you change th this slash here means basically start from the beginning. You can see in Chrome, Chrome does this nice thing where it actually highlights the um, domain name that you're using in black and then it makes any pages or subsequent pages below it in gray. So you can see that this is actually where the, the, uh, the statement begins because it's everything that's in gray. So if you're ever wanting to link to just say, for example, on this site on core, just the bottoms of a product, you could link it collections slash bottoms and it would take you right there as long as you use this trailing slash. Now, this, this leading slash, sorry, this leading slash is only works with your within your current site. So it means that this is assumed that you're already here and then you're adding this to it in order to go somewhere else in the site. If you're on a different site, say you're on Facebook or you're on Twitter, you need to copy the entire location so that the site knows where to go. And that's kind of an overview on how the URLs work within Shopify.